<laughs> anyway, we're going to be playing in the kitchen. What have you got for us today? Right, we've got a salmon dish, so we're going to roast some salmon off. We've got some uh, a fresh pesto there, but we're going to do it a little bit different. We've got coriander, <laughs> cashew yeah. nuts in there, so we're getting the whole Asian uh, feel to it. And then we've got some of these beautiful baby uh, red potatoes. We're going to uh, roast them off with some almonds and a little bit of butter. Nice work. Oh, I love cashew nuts as well. Great to have you with us in the Bicco Kitchen, and we are making a baked salmon dish today. Mark loves salmon, and this looks Quite tasty. So what have you got for us? Right, so we're going to keep it really simple. We're going to yes. take the skin off the salmon. We're going to roast it in the pan. It's yep. not going to take long. We'll get a nice colour, serve it nice and pink. Mm -hmm. We've got some potatoes to go with it, which we're just going to parboil now. So I'm going to get them on in a sec. We're going to roast them in the pan with some um, uh, almonds. And then we're going to have this beautiful uh, coriander pesto. Then. Yum. OK, cool. Right, let's get going. Right, so first job, get some water on the stove, a little bit of salt in there. Yep. And then we're just going to cook these uh, potatoes. So we're going to leave them whole. We're going to leave the skins on as well. So, just going to check these, you know, if they're dirty, give them a good wash and a good dry, and then we'll get them in there. Bring up to the boil, turn it down, pop a lid on it, and just cook them until they're about 90% cooked. And why red potatoes? Uh, well, that's the only ones we can find. find. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. no, 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 yeah, I mean, you can use any potatoes you okay, want, good. but they're just yeah. nice. They're, you yep. know, they're in season now, they look great. Great. Good question, look good Mike. on the dish. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, just in case that was, you know... Uh, the choice that you wanted. Yeah, no, 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 no. It's good. To make it's good. Dish, they're really you know, nice. So they got, they got like a little bit of a different flavour as well. Right, pesto. Yeah. So normally pesto we make with basil, don't we? Well, yeah. Basil just nuts, it in a jar, but... Well, oh, yeah. I'll just <laughs> buy it in a jar. Well, we're going to make it today, and we're going to make it with coriander. So it's lucky uh, Jesse's not here, actually, isn't it? Yes, you are. He wouldn't like that. So you just leave the stalks in and everything. Yeah. Yep. Leave the stalks in. Um, if you've got the roots on there, take the roots off. You know, okay. keep them for something else because they're really good. Um, but all the stalks is fine, loads of uh, foil foliage as well in there, um, you know, and you need heaps and heaps and heaps of it. Okay, great. Right, cashew nuts. Bless you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. You're getting told off for saying that with uh, Mel's around. She's like, yeah, you say it wrong. That's all right, you can say it whatever way you like. We know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. Right, so they go in there. A little bit of parmesan as well, so I'm just okay. going to grate it. It's just going to help um, blend it all together. Mmm. Smelling great already. That's great. And we've got a green chilli as well. OK, nice. So you can grab that and you give yes. that... Um, so take the uh, top off. Yeah, take the top. And then you can cut it into sort of like, you know, four or five little bits. Okay, and cool. then that can go in. Five bits? Yeah. OK, oh, well... Well, we're well, blending it so it doesn't need to be oh, too yeah. even. It's just making it a little bit smaller. <laughs> <laughs> Let me take everything so seriously. It's well, good. I don't want to muck up your perfect no, no, dishes. It's good. So. It's good. You know, well, yeah, I've done more than five, but there you go, that'll do. Actually, oh, you'll probably get a bit more in. That's, I'm wasting it, aren't that's I? That's seven. <laughs> <laughs> We're blending it. It's all right, Mark. Don't worry. <laughs> all right, that goes in there. I'm going to put a little bit of uh, salt and pepper just to help with the uh, seasoning. OK, this is great making it fresh. I like this. Yeah, yeah, it's good. And it tastes so much better than a, than a bought stuff. Right, we're going to put some oil in there. So normally we'd use some olive oil, uh, but we're going to use some rice bran oil now. OK, nice. And why do you think that is? Um, Flavour? Healthier. Well, no, healthier is good. Yeah. No, um, so if we use olive oil, we're going to get the, you're going to get that sort of olive oil or Mediterranean um, feel to it. Okay. You know, we, we really want to sort of get a nice impact of the chilies in there, the really fresh coriander uh, flavour. So we're using like a, a less flavoured oil. Okay, yeah. great. So blend it up, and then keep adding oil to the consistency what you want. So you can see it sort of loosening up. Oh yeah. Oh, the aroma coming from that is incredible. That's it. And then you want to, we'll give it a stop, we'll give it a scrape down, and we'll give it another another little blend, and then we're probably about there. So you Just don't want to blend it too much, though, do you? Oh, you want a little bit of texture in there. A little bit of texture, I'll give it a bit yeah. more of a blend. You don't want it, like, fine soup or anything. No, you don't want it to soup. OK. And you're going to taste test it. Yeah. Good. Always taste test it. And if you need to, add salt and pepper. Are you happy, chef? Needs a little bit of work. Needs a little bit of work. Well, that's all right. A little bit well. of salt, pepper, and a little bit of lemon juice as well, and that's just going to lift it. OK, great. Well, cool. We'll carry on here in the Beko kitchen very soon, and we'll get that salmon going perfectly as well. OK, right. We're back in the Beko kitchen, and we are about to crack into the salmon and the potatoes. So you parboiled these? Yep, so we parboiled them, so they're nearly cooked. They're just holding the shape. Just give them a nice dice. I've got a pan on over there, which is just warming up, so can you can do? pop a bit of oil into that. OK, give me the old alpha one. Here we go. And nice. then we're going to roast these. So nice hot pan. Yep. Pop them in. You want to hear that sizzle? I can hear um, the sizzle, sir. That's the what you want to hear. Cool. And then all we want to do now is just get a nice colour on them. OK, great. You know, so the heat in there, by the time we've got a nice colour, the mm -hmm. potatoes are going to be nice and crunchy, nice and cooked. A little bit of salt and pepper. 
So you just keep, keep, you just keep that going them. on, yeah. Okay, great. Yeah. We we'll get a bit of colour on, we can turn it up a little bit. And then we've got some uh, we've got some almonds. Yes. So these are just flaked almonds, so not toasted, but we're gonna throw them in the pan just very close to the end. Okay, great. So they're gonna toast and then we can serve. We've got some chives here, which we're just gonna finely chop. Great. So there's a good tip when you chop chives. Leave the little rubber band on there, where it comes with, and it just holds everything together. You have full you know, of good tips. That. I know, excuse me, I needed to try this. Right, and though. then yeah, you can try the Did pesto. You, does it turn out all right? You're happy? Yeah, no, it's good. Good, okay, bit cool. of seasoning. Lemon mm. juice is really good. Right, salmon. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, that's good, perfect. <laughs> that's good. Love it. Right, so salmon. So if you want, you can leave the skin on, you can pan fry it. But this is quite a nice recipe. We've got nice, some nice texture with the um, potatoes. We've got this beautiful coriander pesto. So it's really nice just to take the skin off, right? So all I'm going to do is just going to hold the skin, pop your knife in, and then at an angle like that, you're just going to sort of move the knife gently and the skin and the edge of your board until you get to the end. And then you just take all the skin off in one go. Look at that. Fancy. Just look at it in that one before, otherwise I'll get you to do it. <laughs> and then what we're going to do is trim it up and just them in some nice pieces. Right, and then I've got another pan on over here. So this has been warming up. A little bit of oil in there, get that hot. And we're going to start frying, pan frying the salmon. And these are just small pieces, so it's not going to take long, okay? So How long would you recommend? Oh, probably like... Three minutes. Three minutes, four minutes. Yeah. You know, so we're just going to pop that in there. Yum. Don't overcrowd the pan, get it in there. You can see it's already cooking. You know, it's so lean salmon, you know, it does cook really fast. So a nice hot pan, you get that nice caramelization on there, flip it over, get a colour on the other side, take it out. That's all you're going to need to do, okay? Okay, great. Right, so you can see the, uh, yeah, the potatoes are starting nicely. to colour there. Time for the almonds, is it? Yeah. So just before the almonds, a small knob of butter. A small. Nope, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's and then, Mark's version of small. And that's gonna that's gonna glaze the potatoes. It's gonna make the potatoes taste absolutely fantastic. And it's also gonna help help uh, toast the almonds. Beautiful. Okay. Another little pinch of salt in there because we've added some more ingredients in there. So keep that on the go. Okay, cool. And then all we're gonna do is once we get that little bit of colour on those almonds, and you know that's not gonna take long, you know? Oh my goodness. A little bit that of colour in there. So good. Splash of lemon juice yep. and um, some chives to finish. And we'll just have a look at the salmon. So if you okay. give me that. So look at this. So see you get a nice colour here. Beautiful. So just carefully flip it over. Same colour on the other side, take it out, a little bit of lemon juice on there, that is good to go. Yeah, that is good so to go. Turn lemon that off. juice. Lemon juice, chives, and that's great. And you can serve that with anything, you know? Beautiful. Easy. Look at that. Oh, it's going to be delicious. Can't wait to tuck into this. OK, you can get the recipe at thecafe.co.nz. Another salmon. Smells incredible. You happy? Looks great. Yeah, it? doesn't it? I'll yep. go for the taste test in a minute. Hey, what are you going to do tomorrow? Oh, I've got a classic tomorrow. Laksa. Yum! Perfect winter dish.